she has physical abilities that are straight up superhuman. I'm scared. Who didn't want to be Kim Possible growing up? I mean, grabbing my mom's hair dryer and fighting off my siblings like they're some bad guys is one of my core memories. And this iconic show holds up to this day. Now, for those younger viewers and heathens that don't know what this show is, Kim is a teenage girl going through her normal early 2000s high school life all while stopping super and not so super villains. I wager that you are wondering how I can use a robot dick in my evil scheme. Aren't you, Shiko? I'm sorry, what? From dudes with golf clubs trying to take over the course to literal aliens, all while being accompanied by her best friend, Ron Stoppable, and the true star of the show, Rufus. <laughs> I can't be the only person who wanted to pet Rufus, right? There's no way I'm the only one. But for real, there were so many reasons I wanted to be a real life Kim Possible. So let's just see how possible it is to be a possible. Oh man, I am not proud of that joke, but run the intro. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a beard is under Super Roja, and welcome to the Modern Ninja. And specifically, let's get started on our next episode of Fight Like a Superhero, the series where I take characters from media and break down how to become like them in real life. Today, obviously, we're doing Kim Possible. So, according to the wiki, canonically, Kim is truly a force to be reckoned with. She has above average speed, above average strength, above average average reflexes she knows gymnastics cheerleading skills and knows 16 styles of martial arts now none of those styles are actually listed except for one the mystical monkey kung fu so we're going to take the wiki as more of a guideline than a rule although if i figure out a way to make mystical monkey power real you best believe i'm doing a video on it so uh subscribe but for anyone who's seen this series, they know that's really not what we're looking for anyway. What does she actually show on screen? What does she actually use? And in turn, what do I need to actually learn to become a real life Kim Possible? First, let's hit the biggest and most important step. You're gonna wanna learn some gymnastics training, like serious Olympic level gymnastics training. Kim shows skills that even Olympic level gymnasts would struggle to perform and she can do all of that mid combat. This ability is honestly borderline superhuman. The only other characters in fiction that move like that are characters like Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Nightwing. And I even say she's even better than Nightwing, maybe even better than Black Panther. So absolutely get started with that gymnastics training as soon as possible. You're also gonna wanna mix in some parkour. Now I've talked about parkour a lot in this series and at first glance it seems like it's not super necessary with how much gymnastics training she actually has. But parkour uniquely gives the skills to be able to use your environment in not only your movement but also your combat so running across walls leaping off of boxes and anything else you can come across in dragon's lair is going to be necessary essentially parkour is going to be the cherry on top of our agility training next is kim's combat she's able to punch and kick that like button so make sure you help your boy out and do the same but for real her base style is definitely going to be some type of kung fu now the exact style is unclear in the wiki like it says, so here's gonna be my best guess. I watched so many fight scenes, like so many fight scenes. And the style that she uses on screen seems to be a mix of Northern styles of Kung Fu. Many Northern styles of Kung Fu feature deeply extended postures and stances connected to quick and fluid transitions. And Kim is always striking that pose in whatever she does, so I think this is perfect. Now for Kim specifically, the most prominent arts in my opinion are Northern Shaolin, Bagua Zhang, and a pinch of Monkey Fist or Monkey Kung Fu. Northern Shaolin originates from the monastery in Henan, and I'm Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. The monks began their training to protect their monastery. They started to train military weapons sometime around the Tang Dynasty. The monks became literally famous for their skills when they aided the future emperor Li Shimini. And again, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, but they were able to help him in the battle against rebellious forces. Now, the style has a very large assortment of techniques, quick advances and retreats, wide stances, impressive kicking and jumping techniques circular box, and like a ton of other things. This style is super big and super deep. 
And with this style relying on the quickness and agility of its practitioner, it makes it so perfect for the bass that Kim uses. But then you add in some Bagua Zhang influences. Bagua or circle walking is known for the ability to avoid and evade attackers. It's something that Kim relies on heavily for her defense. Kim almost always uses her agility and evasion skills instead of direct blocking in her combat on screen. So that's obviously going to be a big signature of becoming her in real life. And as such, Bagua practitioners walk around the edge of a circle in various slow stances, facing the center, meaning facing their attacker. This allows them an advantage over their opponent by always moving to the opponent's weak side and allowing the practitioner to seamlessly dodge many of the attacks. I mean, there is a reason that Avatar The Last Airbender used this style for airbending. If you want to watch that video, check out the playlist. And lastly, just a pinch of monkey fist or monkey kung fu. Every now and then you can see Kim drip into this style, most notably when she's fighting uh, characters like monkey fist. Yes, it, the, the character monkey fist. I understand the confusion. However, the real life monkey kung fu does actually feature various difficult acrobatic movements like front, side, and back flips, handstands, lunges, dives, and tons of high level kicks. And the biggest difference between how Kim fights and how traditional monkey fist practitioners fight shows up in their body postures and tra transitions. But we have again our base of Shaolin, Northern Shaolin Kung Fu for that. And so monkey fist still fits nicely and I feel like if I left out some kind of monkey kung fu, I would be roasted in the comments for, you know, Mr. Monkey Fist. So you're welcome. And while you're there, add in some point fight training because that'll assist you in learning how to read people and predict movement because you better be really good at timing those dodges and flips if you're gonna use them as your defense. <laughs> But we are definitely not done because Kim can literally do everything. She has physical abilities that are straight up superhuman. She has the stamina to be able to flip over and over and over without slowing down, getting tired, or getting dizzy. So stamina training is absolutely going to be necessary. And that's still I've been talking about her strength. Her strength is straight up not real. Like it's not human. She was able to sidestep Shigo's flying sidekick grab her midair from behind her and throw her in the opposite direction like it was nothing with one arm. Guys, I'm pretty sure Shigo outraised Kim. That's superhuman. So I guess you're gonna have to deal with some human limitations and join a strongman circle in your area. Training to throw someone with one hand that outweighs you is, I'm not even sure it's possible, but if anyone can do it, they can. And then in the free time that you don't have, make sure you also train in ice skating, skydiving, sharpshooting with a grapple gun, horseback riding, scuba diving, snowboarding, and I mean babysitting too. Yes, she can do anything. Literally anything. Let's see, you're smart, athletic, pretty, and popular. Sounds pretty cakey to me. So for those of you that are overwhelmed and just weren't paying attention, let's recap. You're gonna need Northern Shaolin Kung Fu, Bagua Zhang, Monkey Fist, Point Fighting, Gymnastics, Parkour, Extensive Stamina Training, Extensive Strength Training, and every other side hobby that you can think of. So you tell me, is it possible to become a possible? Let me know down in the comments. But either way, thanks for watching, because my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about Ahsoka Tana, one of my favorite Star Wars characters. Or this other one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.